I'm now going to show you how you round numbers to the nearest hundred. It's very similar to rounding to the nearest ten, but this time instead of looking at the units column, we need to look at the tens column. It's the tens column that shows us which hundred the number is nearest to. So let's look at our first example. We've got 3,487. The number in the tens column is 8. So that means we have to round the hundreds column up one. So the 4 becomes a 5. We'll put a 5 in there. In the thousands column, that's going to stay the same. That's 3. And our other numbers become noughts because we're rounding to the nearest hundred. So our answer must have at least two noughts in the answer. So we can see that 3,487, when it's rounded to the nearest hundred, becomes 3,500. We can see that 3,487 is in between 3,400 and 3,500, but it's nearer to 3,500. So that is our answer. Let's try the next one. 9,353. This time our tens column contains a 5. So that means we're going to have to round the hundreds column up. The 3 in the hundreds column becomes a 4. The 9 in the thousands stays the same. And we need 2 noughts because we're rounding to the nearest hundred. So 9,353 is 9,400 to the nearest hundred. You can see that 9,353 is in between 9,300 and 9,400, but it's nearer to 9,400. So that's our answer. Last one. This number is 23,444. Again, we look at our tens column. But this time, the tens column is less than 5. So we're going to round it down. That means the hundreds column stays the same. The hundreds column is going to be a 4. The thousands column stays the same. And the ten thousands column stays the same. We need to fill up our number with two zeros. So it's round to the nearest hundred. So 23,444 is 23,400 to the nearest hundred. It's in between 20, 23,400 and 23,500, but it's nearer to 23,400.